I arrived in Israel on Friday morning, and the country was awash in stories of religious extremism. Uh, unbelievable stories. Little girl eight spat on because she was uh, allegedly inappropriately attired. Uh, a female soldier yelled at to move to the back of a bus by a Haredi man who then called her a whore because she refused to move to the back of the bus. She was quickly dubbed the, the Jewish Rosa Parks. This is a battle for the very soul of the Jewish people and the very character of the state of Israel. And what we're talking about is a religious cancer that's going to grow on the body politic if it's not checked, condemned by the mainstream rabbis. It is absolutely true that this is a small group of extremists. And no one, God forbid, wants to tar and feather the religious community in general and blame them for these outrages, of which they are not a part. But what is also true is that when it comes to Islamic acts of terror or acts of violence in Islam's name, we, the Jewish community, are always telling our Islamic brothers and sisters that we expect imams, mainstream imams, to condemn the violence. That even if you're not a part of it, you're telling us that only a small, small part of Muslims are, are violent, and I, I agree with that. If the mainstream does not condemn it, then they are complicit in that violence. If, if the clerics, if the imams don't come along and say any action, any resort to violence in the name of Muhammad, in the name of Islam, is an abomination to our faith, then they are silently complicit with those activities. Well, we in the Jewish community need to be held to the same standard. If we have religious men wearing yarmulkes with beards and tzitzis that are spitting at little girls, traumatizing them, maybe for life, um, showing the height of ingratitude to women soldiers wearing the uniform who defend them and protect them. I mean, talk about a denial of Jewish values, uh, arguably the highest of which is hakarata tov, gratitude. Talk about a denial of gratitude that while you sit in your yeshiva, you are protected by women, by women who are prepared to fight and risk their lives so that you can peacefully pursue your religious convictions. If we're not prepared as rabbis to condemn religious outrages that betray uh, Judaism, um, that betray its deepest values, and portray it in the most abominable, appalling light, then we will become silently complicit with these actions, and, and then we will be deserving of the same kind of criticism. Should a woman be respectful of, of uh, the mores of a religious community? Of course she should always try to be respectful. But whatever she's doing, if she's streaking naked, there is no excuse to ever use violence against her, God forbid. Call the police, have her arrested uh, if, she, if she does something outrageous that breaks the law. Or if she walks into your neighborhood and she's inappropriately attired, she's immodestly attired uh, by your standards, then by all means walk over to her respectfully and say, uh, here's a shawl, welcome to our community, you know, we, we appreciate your, your being here, we're, we're warm and inviting people. Um, we have certain standards. We would ask you, would you might you please um, keep to those standards and give her a shawl. They do that at the hotel. You arrive, <coughs> excuse me, bare shoulder to the Kotel, and they give you um, very nicely. And that's a kid of Hashem, it's a sanctification of God's name.